<laughs> All right, my bad, my fault. All right. Good morning, everybody. So today is Daf Lamed Bays. Um, it's Sagas Kedushin. So we left off the last two words, bottom line, and Lamed Aleph Lamed Bays. So we just said that Kibud of Aim, we're talking about uh, Kibud. So Kibud is actually uh, dressing and, and giving food and, and giving drinks. So the Gemara asks the boy Lou, top of the page now. So Michelle, me. Today, right, we're just going to talk about base. So who who now is who has to pay for it? Michelle, me. Who is the one who's responsible? Does does the son use the father's money to buy should you know to buy to serve him food, or does the son have to go ahead and pay for the food and serve his father? So Michelle, me. So Rav Yudah, Mar Michelle Ben. So Rav Yudah says, no, the son has to pay for it. Rav No son, Bar Oisha, Mar Michelle Ab. The father has to pay for it. However, the Rabban the Rav Yirmiyah, and some say Lebre, the Rav Yirmiyah, command the Amar Mishalah. So the Paskin that no, the one who says that the son doesn't have to go ahead and pay for it, he, he, you know, when, that which he feeds, he can use the father's money to go ahead and feed the father. So the Bryce says, Nemar Kavayis Avicha Vesimach, and Nemar Kavayis Hashem Yehimcha. So it says over there, you should honor your parents and honor Hashem from your, from your possessions. Malalam Bechisron, he's just like over there honoring Hashem from your from your money. So do when you honor your parents should be from your own wallet, from your own pocketbook. Right? So if, if, if it's for the father, so then where's the chisorim kis, right? How, you know, there's no nachminos. My answer is right? It's the father's money. But the guy has to go ahead and miss work. He could be working right now. So since, but now is to honor his parents, one should miss work, right, in order to go ahead and help feed the father, even though it's from the father's money. So Tashma, come and listen. Bezach, I mean, you got two brothers or Shnei Shutfin or two partners, Ha'avu Beno, whether it's the, the, the father uh, and the son or Rav Talmido, Podin Ze Leze Meiser Sheni. So the halacha normally is one goes ahead and redeems his own because of Meiser Sheni, taking Shalayim. He has to tack on a fifth, right? Tack on a fifth. Someone else does it. Um, I would say when you do it, right, um, then that normally. Right, the, if, so the, if the father has Maizah then uh, he can do it without a fifth, right? In other words, we don't say that he's considered to be the same person, right? Rather, he's considered to be somebody else. Putting, uh, so we say, uh, Now, that's why I bring it. And they go ahead and feed each other Maizah In other words, let's say the son has, you know, these crops. And during years... Uh, three and six instead of Maestro Shani, there's Maestro Ani. So he's allowed to go ahead and give his Maestro Ani to his father. Via Marta, Michelle Ben, if you say now the son has to go ahead and pay from his own pocketbook the father's, right, the, you know, the, you know for the father's meals, right? Michelle Ben, means as that, uh, Michelle Ani. It turns out he's using his Maestro Ani to pay for his responsibility. This is what his father can categorize no, but even, even that's the case. But it, no, no, but it, no, but if you're kavit, if you hold that kavit sevicha, right, means that you pay for it. So I should be paying for it. How can I use my meiser money to go ahead and pay for it? The Gemara says no. No extras. No, the extra. Obviously, if the father qualifies, he's an ani. Then, if he wants extra, no, it's more than he usually gets. Then that could be for my son. He says, "Ihachi, I know the tani outro is said aloud. I'm a Rav Yehuda. Tavo meira l'mi shemaychos avi meiser ani." So you know, person, you know, it's not. It's frowned upon. Right, one who goes ahead and feeds his father, my son, he is referring to only the extra, the overage, the extra food, right? The his, his second dessert, my nafkamino. What's an afkamino? Whether he uses my son or not, right? Then I was he didn't use a responsibility. So if he Zila Bay Mill said still a Zilusa, it's not so nice to go ahead and give your father uh my son. So Tashma, come listen. Shalu is from the Ezra at Hechan Kivarab aim. So tell us earlier, what is the extent of Kivar Aveim? Yomarlem, Kadei Sheyito, Arneki, Vizer Kenu, Liyom, Bifanav, Vein Machlimo. They go ahead, they throw your wallet, you know, a purse, into the sea, and you don't go ahead and rebuke them for doing it. You just take it. So if you're talking about that, in other words, we're talking about it was the father's money. In other words, that the whole point is that obviously he can't take your money because your that your your money is not responsible to honor him. It's only you honor him with your dad's money. So if it's your dad's money, so if, he, if the father is throwing away his own wallet into the sea, right? Why he why should he care? Of course he's not going to rebuke his father. He doesn't care. So Gamora says no. But right, Liarsho, since that yeah, the father just threw a million dollars into the sea, right? 
Uh, but, uh, you know, could have been his, right? He would have inherited his father eventually, but uh, he had to buy, uh, you know, a fancy uh, monkey uh, NFT, whatever it is, you know, for a for million dollars. So he just threw it away. So he, then, since he's running the then he'd be upset. Ravuna tore a silk garment in front of Rabba's son and Omar, and he said, he's a, uh, I'm, just, I'm testing his, his whether he gets angry now, so I'm going to tear this in front of him. <clears throat> and even though that uh, it, was, it was going to go ahead and inherit it, <clears throat> so there, this way, you know, he was testing if he was going to be angry. I, the Dilma, Rasa, the Klaver, the Ali, the Perhaps the, the you know Rabo would have been upset mm-hmm. and you know slapped his father, whatever it is, you know, would have yelled at his father for tearing mm-hmm. this nice garment. And he, and he would have mm-hmm. violated that not to put a stumbling block. Mm-hmm. He purposely put a stumbling block in front of him. Mm-hmm. So our answer is the Michael. Mm-hmm. No, he was already Michael if he was going to go ahead and yell at the father. So the father was already Michael. Uh, so I so they cut it. So how can he go ahead and tear a garment? So he, he's Baltashkas. He's 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 wasting. Right, he's wasting his garments. So my answer is the other lay, but uh, he does it by the seams. So now that we sewed up, he's not destroying the garment, you just re go ahead and sew it. I but don't wish him Maybe that's the reason why he wasn't upset because he did it at the seams. So my answer is the other lay, but shas he did it at a point where he was already agitated, and then he did this in front of him to see that if he would go ahead and test him to see if he would be further agitated. So to that, smell the page, Samasi, the Ravi Chaska, the Ravi Beret. So now this was a conversation we're talking about Kivan Is the Bachoik is really between nothing to do with this, but rather the point is that it was an interaction of the Torah between father and son. So Mazar Rav Yechaskel Rami Berei. So Rav Yechaskel taught Rami's son. He says Hanisrapim v'Niskalim. Let's say there's people who are mixed up, right? There's a bunch of people who are Chayv Skila, right? They're supposed to be uh, stoned, right? The Chayv Misa, right? And then there's a, one or two who are Nisrafim, who are supposed to be, the, their punishment is death by, by Srefa. And I have a Shimon Aymer, Yaduna Beskila, go ahead and give them Skila, Shas Srefa Chamura, right? So we, we, we go along and give with the Skila, because Srefa is more Chamur, according to this opinion. Mm-hmm. Yes, we, 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 I mean, right. not this, but we have the, the, uh, this case is, uh, hey, Sanhedrin, yes. Let's go on Sanhedrin about the, the, the three pieces. But anyways, so Amalei, Rav Yehuda Berei. So it says, uh, Rav Yehuda Berei. So Amalei, Rav Yehuda Berei. Abba, don't teach this way. This is wrong. My area is Shreifa, Chamura. Why did you say the reason why they get Shreifa is when Shreifa is Chamura? But typically, the Reuben is telling them, say no, you give them Skila, not because Shreifa is more Chamura, because most of the people there were Chayv Skila, so you go after the road, then we just give everyone Skila there. So Ella Haki Athene, rather you should say like this, Hani Slam but then right? That people who, who there are some people who who were Chaif Skila who were mixed up with Srefa. So Malay Haki Ama Sefa. So the Sefa says, Khabu Aimrim, Yaduna Bas Srefa. You go ahead and judge him with Srefa. She has Skila Khamura. They get Srefa because Skila is Khamura. So my ear is the Skila Khamura. So once again, you can ask the same question this way. Why do you say we give him Skila because Skila is more Khamur? Typically the Ruba, the Srafim. Say the reason why you get Srefa is not because the skill is more Chamor, but I say because most people there, the robe is Srefa. So, so there's no, it's only the Rabbanan are saying the Shita of the Rabbi Shivan. They come out to that which you say is Srefa Chamura, right? No, you don't say the Srefa Chamura, no, because Skila Chamura, because they're arguing in terms of uh, that Skila was Chamura. So now this is a conversation between father and son. So it says Shmuel to Rav, to Rav Yehuda. She did up, right? Sharp one. Late Tamele Lavucha Haki, right? You shouldn't go ahead and basically argue with your father like this. The Tani will learn by Sarah Shahaya Aviv Ivar al Dibre Torah. One sees his father violent Dibre Torah. Al Yemar Loy Abba Avartok al Dibre Torah. Do not say he's violating the Torah, or in this case, they are going to the Bryce Aram. Al Yemar Loy Abba Kaf Kasa Betorah. Kaf Kasa Betorah. Mm-hmm. Right, so no, you should say, uh, Dad, this is what's written in the Torah. You know, it's not telling me you're doing wrong, just say this was written in the Torah. So, Gomar mm-hmm. says once again, he's he's basically mm-hmm. still rebuking him. Sell Omar law, rather, you should say, Abba, Mikra Kasim, the Torah, Kach. Right, there's a dad, there's a Pasuk that says this, and then from there, he'll understand. He's not really calling him out, he's just making him aware of a Pasuk, and then from there, he'll, uh, he won't be rebuked, and therefore, he's not directly arguing <laughs> or giving rebuke to the father. And Allah ben Mazgamir Abba Aimer Ishkani Mayim, the father says, Give me water, Mitzvah Lasis, and he has to go ahead and do another mitzvah. 
Right, I will go ahead and not honor my father again, but water rather do the mitzvah. Because both me and my father are chayim mitzvah, so therefore he's he, uh, he's uh, you know I, I should go ahead and, and go. Let's say he's put on tefillin or go to minyan. And he's been who do I marry? If the mitzvah, let's say the mitzvah was to drop off food for a beaker chol, right? So if the mitzvah was able to be done by somebody else, then maybe find somebody else to go ahead and do that mitzvah, and you go ahead and serve your father. Uh, and therefore he goes ahead and serves his father. Then Amr Masna, first uh, top wide line. Amr Masna, halacha eat by Yehuda, halacha like he was in Yehuda, they should get others to do it if it's possible. And Amr Yitzah, Bar Shilai, Amr Masna, Amr Abchiza, Ha'av Shemachah, Kvodah, Kvodah, Mafam. A father wants to be Michael on his cover, he's allowed to go ahead and do it. However, Ha'av Shemachah, Kvodah, but if a uh, Rebbe says, you know, you don't have to treat me respect, or you can sit in my seat, or whatever it is, and Kvodah, Mafam. He's not allowed to go ahead and be Michael Kvodah, he has to basically always. Uh, accept the honor. I have Rav Yosef. I'm Rav Fila. Rav Shimon Hakvod the Kvod Macha. Rav says Rav Yosef says no. Even a, a, a Rebbe wants to go and be Macha as Kavod. He's allowed to do it. Shem Ayz Bazik says Hashem Halech Lifleim Yoyimam. Right, that Hashem used to go ahead and walk in the midbar. He walked ahead of the, uh, of the Jewish people. So even though Hashem, who is the Rebbe, he walked ahead. Right, in order the, the the Rebbe lets the others walk in front of him. Hashem led the way. Right, so leading the way is not Kavodik. Nevertheless, if Hashem could be Macha Kvodo, certainly then the Rebbe can. Over there, this is Hashem's world, right? The Torah delayu, and the Torah says, and therefore he's able to be Michael on that which is his, right? The Torah delayi, so Michael, therefore he be be Michael. So Alik, so 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 in this case, so he says, so Michael Alik, he's not to go ahead and be be Michael and his and his and his covered. So Hacha. Over here, Torah delay, right? Uh, is, is, is the man's Torah? It's not man's Torah. It's Hashem's Torah. So who am I to be? I'm the Rebbe, right? Who am I to be? Michael and my cover. So we want to answer though. Hadam Rava, in yeah, no, it is Torah delay. It is his Torah. The Pasuk says, "Ubu Torasa Yegei Yom Ablaila." His Torah, he should uh, toil in uh, day and night. Seini v'ha Rava Mashkile Be Lula. So Rava was uh, uh, he was serving drinks uh, at the the Pasna of the Bray of his son. Badali Kaisa the Rav Papa, the Rav Huna Bered of Yeshua, and then he he serves Rav Papa and Rav Huna Bered of Yeshua, become a Makhmer, and they, they, they got up for him, they shut him covered, even though he was serving, but they shut him covered. And Rav Mari, the Rav Pinchas, they went to Rav Mari, Rav Pinchas, Bered, right? The Rav Pinchas, Bered, Rav Chiza, the Lord, come a Makhmer, did not stand up. It's a Ikbid. So Abam, or Hanu Rabbanan, Rabbanan, Vahanu Rabbanan, La Rabbanan, understand, right? You guys are the only rabbis here, and therefore you don't stand up. And those guys aren't rabbis who stood up for me. And so now it's those, you know, you, you can still show covered, even though I'm in a, a, a position of serving, uh, uh, serving. But so in further way, another Maizara Papa, you know, so we're talking about that even though he's working as a waiter, pouring drinks, nevertheless, there should have been covered given. Papa was also, he was waitering, he was pouring drinks at the uh, the Chasna of Abamar Beret. And he poured a cup for Rav Yitzhak Bereit of Yudah. He did not stand up for him. He got angry. So in other words, they didn't stand up. Nevertheless, they should have uh, you know, uh, shown some sort of uh, uh, some sort of uh, 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 cover there. And uh boy so right uh boy why they should require that. So Amravashi, I feel the man the Rav Shemachal Kvodo Machal. Even according to the opinion, who says that a Rebbe can't be Mechal Kvodo, his his cover is Machal, right? It, it is uh renounced, right? Nasi Shemachal Kvodo ain't Kvodo Machal, but a Nasi, right? The, the Nasi of Israel cannot be Mechal Kvodo. So Meisve, Meisve, Rabbi Eliezer, Rabbi Yeshua, Rabbi Tzadok, Shem Asubim Beis Hamishda. They were they were, went to the the wedding hall. Uh, of Benaisha Rabbi Gamliel by the son of Rabbi Gamliel, the higher Rabbi Gamliel, I made a And once again, Rabbi Gamliel, mm-hmm. right, who was the father of Chassan, was going out and pouring drinks, and he was a Nazi. Nasi and Akais Rabbi Eliezer, Rabbi Natlu. So he gave, he tried to serve Rabbi Eliezer, and he didn't take the cup. I don't want to take for the Nazi. The Nazi shouldn't go ahead and serve me. Who am I to go ahead and take the, you know, because that's the whole issue here. Who am I to go ahead and take a cup from the Nazi? Nasi Rabbi Shua, he offered Rabbi Shua the kibbo, and he said, oh, thanks for the drink, waiter. Nasi. I'm the of the Azir, Mazda Yoshua. What, what, what is this? You're taking drinks from him? Right? I'm the Yashin Regum Leel. I made a mask, Elena. Right? You're going to sit here and have Regum Leel serve you. He's the Nazi. Summer lay. I've seen a God of Emmanuel Shishimesh. Right? Uh, you know, we can find greater people than Regum Leel who were serving. 
Avram, right? Avram Avinu, right? God of Ador, he was the God of Ador, Kasubaba, who I made a layam, right? And he went over there and he served, you know, the three, um, his three visitors, right? I, the Shem of Tundra, Malachi, Hashem, his name, maybe you'll say they appeared like Malachi, uh, uh, Malachi, uh, they appeared like angels. Lo, no, no, they only appeared, says they only appeared like, you know, air merchants or travelers. So they appeared like humans. Nevertheless, he he was the one who served them. So in other words, a Nazi can be Michael Kvodo, right? Vanu lo, right? And we can't go ahead and take Rabbi Gamil Karebi, right? And we can't go ahead. If they were able to take him, we can't be like Rabbi Gamil Karebi. I mean, a Mashkalena, we can't allow him to be Mashkalena. So then Rabbi Yitzchak and says, excuse me, Rabbi Tzadok, and Moshat Hem Manichim Kvodo Shomakom. Why do you keep going ahead and like uh, you know leaving the honor of Hashem, but them and, and, and going ahead and giving praise to Avram Avinu or giving praise to Rav Gamliel? Hakadosh Baruch Hu, Meishiv Rucha Yismael in the Siyim, right? Hakadosh Baruch Hu, he he's always at work, right? He goes ahead and he makes the winds blow, and he makes the clouds uh, come up, and he brings down two, Umatzmiach Adama makes the the ground sprout, Va'arich Shulchan Lifnei Kolecha Biachan, and make sure everyone has a table. Right, and I was he's doing all this work, right? There's nobody who, who, who works harder on behalf of serving humans than a Gosh Baruch Hu, right? Vanu Lei Rav Gamliel, but Rebbe I made a Mashkaleno, right? And we don't allow, you know, if we allow we allow a Kaddish Baruch Hu to do all this for us. Certainly, we should be able to go uh, go ahead and allow Rav Gamliel to serve us. Eli Tamar Achita, rather, who the Rish said yes. Amar Rav Ashi, I feel the man. There were Nasi Shemachal Kvodo. Even if Nasi wants to go out and be Mechal Kvodo, Kvodo Machal. He's allowed to go ahead and be Mechal Kvodo. He can serve others. Others can take a drink from him. However, Melech Shemachal Kvodo, a Kvodo Machal. But if a king wants to go ahead and be Mechal Kvodo, he wants to go ahead and serve drinks at his son's wedding. That he can't do. Shnei Razbaz says, So the same Alacha Melech Shnei a Masa Alacha. It says, Place upon yourselves a king. In other words, that the fear of the king should be upon you, and therefore he's not allowed to go ahead and be Mechal Kvodo. So, so it's the kingdom. So right, it's the king. So he is the only one. So the, 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 uh, an Av can be Michael Kvodo, a Rabbi can be Michael Kvodo, a Nasi can be Michael Kvodo, but not the Melech. Because the Pasuk says similar for Melech. Tell you about it, it says, let me pray, save a taco. So the Pasuk over there says, let me just read the whole Pasuk, me pray, save a taco. That's Right, because before Seva, right, the uh, uh, old, we'll soon see what that means, an uh, uh, older person, I dare to pray Zakein, right, and then you show honor to pray Zakein, they are raised in the and the Hashem, and then you fear Hashem. So that was the Pasuk I just read. So now, Tanabad and Seva Takum, Yachla Fila Mipne as Zakein Ashmai. Maybe you think that even just an old person, but he's not Maritz, he's, he's not learned at all. Maybe for him, you should go ahead and rise for, right? Tamalaymar, therefore, later on in the Pasuk, it says Zakein. Right, and Zakin is, is referring to wisdom. In other words, an older person who is also a Tamil Chacham. Shinam Asbasik says, Asli Shivim Eish Mi Zikne Yisro. Go ahead and gather me seventy of the Zikne Yisro, referring to Chachamim. Rabbi Yosi Aglili Omer Ein Zakin Ela Misha Kana Chachma. No, a Zakin, which the Luchari agrees. The Gemara says, "What's an after? What's the difference between the two Shitas?" Says Ein Zakin Ela Misha Kana Chachma. Right, a Zakin is someone who acquires uh, wisdom. Shinam Asbasik says, "Hashem Kani Reishi Darko." Uh, so it says over there, right, that he, mm-hmm. he, he that uh, he, you know, that he acquired chakol. Maybe you think you have to stand up to him from far away. Tamalim, right? Therefore, it says, right? You get up, right? And then you, you, you right? You show kabbal. Like, uh, so, in other words, right? The only place where you stand up is when there's hither. If I see him from far away and I stand up, it's not showing honor. It's not showing respect. When he's within my Dal Ramos, then it's showing, I'm, I'm showing respect. And Yachol, you the mama, maybe I have to go ahead and honor this Zakin with money, right? Here's a, here's 20 bucks. Tamalaymar, talk about Darta. The difference is talk about Darta. Makima Shemachis on Kis, just like standing up doesn't cost you anything. Afhidar, Shemachis on Kis, so too, that which we honor, the Zakanim is also without uh, any sort of loss of money. Yachol, Yama, Bene, Mipana, Mibesa Kisa, Besa Merchats. Maybe also let's see him in the bathroom or the Besa Merchats, the bathhouse. They have to stand up for there. Tamalaymar, talk about Darta. Right? Only where the place an honorable place, that's where you go ahead and you stand up. Maybe I can go ahead and turn away like I didn't see him, and therefore I don't have to stand up. Therefore, it says, stand up, be a racer, and you fear. Now there has to be something that's in the heart. Right? Uh, so you say, because you have to fear Hashem. So Hashem knows that you see him, you can't go ahead and look away. 
And Rabbi Shem, uh, Rabbi Shem ben Elazar, I'm here. Menai and the Zaken shall get Shriach. How do you know the Zaken should try and say, see, he knows that if I go in there or if I walk this way, then they have to go ahead and stand up. I, he, then perhaps he should go around if he can. Tamalaymar, Zaken ve'eresa. In other words, he's a Zaken, but he still has to go ahead and fear Hashem. So she was sitting in the back by the sofa. Uh, yeah. So maybe you should go in the front before they start. It'll be easier. So right? Because it's safe. So I feel called seva b'mash. It says anybody, anybody who's old. And Rabbi Yisai Glili. So so that was the end of the price. So Rabbi Yisai Glili high in the So we said earlier, Rabbi Yisai Glili high in the Tana Kama. Now, as both of them seem to say that it has to be someone who is wise, right? Who is a chacham, the zaken. So he could be you yonik the chacham, right? Someone who's young, right, and wise. Right, Tanakama says that no, he has to be both. He has to be a, a old and a old and a tamad chacham. And if you say clearly, Savar, and he holds no, a filu yonik v'chacham, even a young tamad chacham, not even old, that you should go ahead and stand up for it. So my time, Rabbi Yisrael Glili, Savar the Chacham, is like you said, he has to be both a zaken and a, uh, 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 a uh, an old person. Im kein, the chacham rachman. If that's the case, the pastor should say, "Mi pnei save a zaken takum." Right? Because, uh, you know, it should say the two words together, save a zake, right? An old, wise person. So, why did the puzzle divide it? Even it's one or the other. Even if he's only old and not wise, or wise and not old, you still go ahead and stand up for it and show honor. Therefore, you learn from even a yoni v'chachem. Ay, v'tana kama, v'tana kama. Why is it written that way? Mishun the way the mismach zaken veresa because he wants to write the words zaken veresa, um, uh, and therefore it divides mm-hmm. it up. In other words, that only that you should go ahead and never they should uh, uh, fear the tanakama my taima. So you know, what's the reason why they hold that even just old? So if it's like Rabbi Yisegli, in other words, why not write it together? It must be each one or the other, and tanakama says. Right, no, that if it's just a Tamil Chachim, you have to stand up for In Kay, Nichlav Rahmana, if that's the case, the Torah should have written, turn the page, right? Mipne, Seva, Tokum, the Hadarta, Tokum, the Hadarta, Pne Zakin. It should have said before an old person, you should get up, give honor, and then you should give up and give honor before somebody who is a Zakin, right? And always who's also smart and, you know, Chachim and not old. But not, it didn't say specifically for someone who's only smart or not seva. So therefore, we see that the seva and zake is all one qualification. It has to be both uh, seva and zake. All right, we'll stop here. So tomorrow, Mr. Shem, we will continue. Uh, don't forget to reset your uh, your, your alarms now.